Have y'all seen the the Bollywood clips that make it make its way to like Instagram and stuff? Where like Gulima. Like, uh, I have seen that one too. But you know the ones where they like compare ho Hollywood movies to Bollywood movies. No. No. And, and like how like Bollywood does it more extreme than Hollywood movies. Mm -mm. Like they'll show like the like Tom Cruise jumping from one building to another, but then they'll show the 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 Indian. The oh, Bollywood. the Indian action movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah. breaks cars yeah. in half. Yeah. And yeah. Shit. Like jumping across the entire city and shit. Oh, I saw the one where there's this chick that's running from the dude because I guess they're breaking up, or something, and the chick runs out of the city into a prairie, like up mountains, down the snow, and they're just fucking running the whole time. She keeps looking back and they're running through like all kinds of different terrain. But they're you so see, fast. You guys see that one where that girl, she's like uh, running away and then she hits her head and she falls into a suitcase and the suitcase zips, or zips up fuck? and then they take the suitcase away. What? I've <laughs> never seen that. She got kidnapped. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit. I think what makes them funny is that these scenes are supposed to be serious for them. But like, it's, it's also so out of context different. when you see it and you're like, what the fuck movie is this about? <laughs> yeah. there's so, I bet there's so many American movies you could do the same thing to yeah. and you're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, well the thing is like, American movies are already like, disproportionate, yeah. like it's just not realistic at all, like but they that, take the it to the next movies. level yeah. on that, yeah. Well, not only do they do that to their movies, the cops in India recently, like literally within the past couple months, there, there's there's been a, uh, a, a an actual case study of cops doing this particular thing when they're trying to do traffic stops now. Oh I'm no, sure are you doing some Tom Cruise traffic shit? Traffic stops. This is, this is like, traffic stops. Yes. Like, oh, you you pass the stop sign and then they're doing this. Uh, yeah, they're trying to give people uh, uh, speeding tickets or whatnot. Trying to chase this, after cars on. This is multiple cops. This oh, is happening shit. the past couple months. Whoa, they're trying to evade police? Yo. Why is the police jumping on the car? One, yes, the the the, the traffic, the, the driver the, wants to just drive off and not listen to police. Two, Broke. cops are thinking that it. they can just jump on cars and Because of movies? I don't, I'm, I'm not saying it's because oh, of the movie, I'm just saying like they just take it to another extreme. Wait, why they're is this person the job. filming his own crime? Maybe it's an Uber driver and that's the passenger in the back. True, maybe. Dude, that's dangerous, man. Hey, he's trying to get him off, too. I'm surprised he didn't slide off. And then he's like, I'm gonna give you a fucking ticket. Oh my god. One. This is a different different scenario, different uh, time. It looks like the same guy. What the f Well, that's their uniforms, and they all look kind of the same. Oh, oh shit. Dude, watch this guy, though. This guy is, is, is a G. He, he hobbles off to the side, and he's like, I gotta catch this criminal still. Let me put on my hat Jeez. first. You guys are dedicated. Hop on, hop on this guy's uh, Whoa! motorcycle. He's like, go get that guy. This seem like an action oh movie. Yeah. yeah. This is Die Hard. Yes, yeah, yeah. This, this is really Super Cop and Die Hard rolled into one. Indie yeah. For a traffic ticket, dude. Yeah, so, and then here's another there's one. a broken where tail light. Chasing after the car who, the, the cops on top of the hood again. You did a rolling stop through that stop sign. God damn it. <laughs> He's like, uh, his, the police get no respect out there. No respect. And also, the police think they're superheroes. <laughs> like, what yeah. the fuck? So that's the guy that was driving. You know, he looks like he's hurt a little bit. So then they start, they just start wailing on this Good, he deserves oh, shit. it. I would too. What did he think was gonna happen? I don't know. Uh, maybe they're thinking like the population is so dense in India yeah. that they could just drive off and, and like- I like that he cares about COVID but yeah. not running people over. True. <laughs> Dude, He's like some they, kid. They just start like kicking him and slapping him on the head. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. I want to punch him too. Informal. You <laughs> fucked up, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Remember with the COVID cases, like they were trying to get people to stay at home. They had a bunch of videos that came out of the cops in India just smacking the fuck out of people with like sticks. Yeah. But it's like, you know what though? It's like, it's kind of, it's pretty funny. That's funny. <laughs> Cause it's like a little tiny stick. It's not, yeah. you know, it's not gonna kill the guy. What if it's like, you know how a lot of countries, uh, you, you can't trust the cops cause they'll basically pull you over and, and like extort you. Uh -huh. yeah. Like I don't know if it's like that in India, but maybe they're like, I don't want to fucking pull over. You're just going to make me pay like 40 bucks and I don't want to pay that. Uh, it could be the same thing, right? So they're like, fuck that, I'm gone. Right. Yeah. It doesn't, yeah. it Isn't, what about like their license plate? Like they're all, the cop could just like write down the license plate but like, I'll fucking get you later. I don't well, know. It looks like the, the cops don't have cars <laughs> either. Like <laughs> That's that's like... actually the case. So this article actually... Oh, so he thought he could probably get away. ...dives into the reason why the relationship between uh, drivers and cops, or just like citizens and cops, 
are this way in India is because the, the infrastructure of the police force just isn't like good. It's not like, organized? Yeah, they're saying like for every X amount of, uh, I mean, I, the numbers are in here, but it's a, kind of a long article, but uh, for every X amount of police officers, there's only like, uh, like, like for every 100 officers, I believe, uh, there was only four cop cars. Oh shit. What? There's a lot of cop stations, police stations that don't even have uh, phones. Oh wow. my god. No wonder guys how are driving off. How the fuck do you run a police station without a phone these days? And also with that, like the population in India is- Super dense, right? Insane. Like yeah. how the fuck are you supposed to police so many people with nothing? Are their salaries commission based? Where like- Oh yeah. <laughs> Cause then I can understand. <laughs> That'd be so- <laughs> Yeah, why he's jumping on top of the Right. That's crazy. But if you, if you don't have a car and you don't have a phone, the best way to stop a criminal driving away is jumping on the Exactly. <laughs> Hopefully your weight will just kind of slow down the car to us. I feel kind of oh, wow. grateful for our cops now because then like, man, if I get robbed, I could call a number and the yeah. cops can come at a like within like an hour, right? These yeah. fools, it's like, if you got robbed, you got to run down to the police station yourself because I don't even have a phone line. And <laughs> hopefully he's not out to lunch. Yeah. And you could, you got to just hope that the cop And then hopefully aren't. the cop can jump on that guy's car yeah. and yeah. stop him. Uh, that's crazy, man. That's insane. No wonder he was slapping the shit out of his head <laughs> as he was walking They're away. They're like, come on, man. <laughs> do I say? don't have a phone line. I skipped my lunch for that shit. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah. No, I do want to know if it's like commission pieces. I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 That's why most uh, cops in like poor countries are so corrupt because they're not paid enough. Yeah. That's true. So they have to figure out a way to like make more money. And most of them aren't armed. Like they like they have a stick maybe. Like they don't actually- In India? Firearm. I, they don't actually say in this article, but- Most um, cops don't have guns all over the world. But yeah, but really? That's by and large, most mean. countries don't have armed cops. I remember when I heard about like Los Federales in Mexico, how they got their guns taken away. I think it was only in TJ because it was pretty fucking crazy. And they had like slingshots instead. Oh, I thought no. it was like the craziest shit I've ever heard, but I didn't, cause I thought they everywhere around rocks. the world, police had guns. Like I didn't know it was like that. Cause the cartel got tanks and shit. I don't know if the slingshot's gonna do it. Isn't that funny how like there's more uh, like armed criminals there, but then the cops get, get their guns taken away? Like why would they do that? Yeah, well, because they were, I, I don't know, I guess they had issues where they were, the cops were being corrupt, so they were pretty much. Being punished? I guess, something what? like that. I don't remember, I'm not educated on the story. But. Imagine pulling somebody over with a fucking slingshot in your fucking Yeah, it was pretty that was crazy. so crazy. <laughs> oh my god, on your holster, ready to fucking, like, you better get out of the fucking car. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, better reload fast, dude. Like, oh, well, fuck. Yeah, dude, they're ready to What go. are they putting in the slingshot? Is it a bullet? Bullet? Is it a bullet? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Would it work? Nah. Damn. Most Asian countries, you don't see cops that are, uh, they don't have guns. Because they all know Kung Fu. <laughs> That's true, they don't need it. They don't need it. Yeah, so a lot of low rung constables uh, in India, they're- They call them constables? Yeah, they call it con they're called like in, constables. Um, Salem. I kind of like that. In Salem too? Like in Salem in the game. Oh, the Constable. game. Oh, that game. Like no, what, we're playing our favorite game, Salem. Salem. <laughs> Salem. And I got my Salem outfit. Yeah. yeah. I forgot about that game. Uh, British term. Yeah. British? Yeah, so they're, Bash? they've been, basically targeted by a lot of criminals. Uh, they're just being abused by criminals. Uh, they're- like, Why they're would anyone wanna be a cop? Protection, like the cops True. themselves don't have anything to use for protection. Shit. Uh, they work 13 to 14 hours Jeez. a day, and most of them have to take care of their own commute, uh, commute home once done with their duty. So like, they don't even have a way of getting home. Oh man. You know, there's awful. no police car, there's no nothing, there's no shuttles. That's a tough, tough job. Yeah. It's like, why become a police officer? Yeah. <laughs> Why? It has to be like, like why become a mall cop? It's gotta be like a power thing, like they were like- <laughs> They get donuts all the time. Oh true. So they're like, I'm an authority figure now. I, I'm thinking it might be one of those things, like you know how in, even in the States, right? If you're super duper poor, the only way to kind of level up is the military. And then you do that so you could kind of see the world and all that stuff. Cause that was why my uncle joined. Cause he was like in Hawaii and he was like dirt poor there. And he's like, the only way I'm gonna see the world is the military. So maybe that's a thing for them where like the only way to upgrade from the slums is being a cop. Because mm. yeah. if you were going to say like the only way to see the world in India, I was thinking like join a Bollywood filming crew. <laughs> <laughs> True. They go to the most beautiful places actually. Yeah. What's the crime rate like in India? 100%. 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> With cops like that, yeah, you would think. You would. Dude, oh, if I was a yeah. criminal in India, I'd be like, yeah, bro. Fuck yeah. And I'm like, these ones don't even got cars, yeah. dude. <laughs> they don't even have slingshots, <laughs> these guys. One sandal on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Doesn't it make it easy to be a gang lord out yeah. there? Because you're just like, the cops don't even have a phone. Who the fuck are they going to call? Yeah, that's true. And it seems like they're like out. I mean, like, I know the population in India is like number two, right? right? Or are they number one? I think they're. Probably, oh yeah, China. China, wow. I don't know, but they're up there. They're they're up there, and yeah, you you have to think like, fuck. How do you how do you regulate so many people with so little to work? Resources, with? yeah. Resources, yeah. Dang. That's actually crazy to think about. Yeah, that is right. Yeah, because at least China's got like the whole like borderline communism thing going on for it. And so it's like they kind of, you know, get <laughs> they rule their own ways. At least you know? they've got borderline communism. Yeah, pretty much. But, uh, but yeah, that made me think about like our cops here too, and like kind of like the turmoil that you know the the state uh, United States police are in, and like because of how scary and militant our police is, just seeing another country where the police gets no respect and like well, people are trying to run them over. Them. You know what I like though? I do like like the European system where it's like the traffic cops don't look super tactical but then when you're next to like a like an airport or a train station then they have like the AKs it's scary so it, it almost shows like the level of like i guess severity or like how what they're ready for mm -hmm. in terms of police yeah. so it, it kind of makes you feel like oh, okay this guy I can talk to he's not going to throw me on the ground he's just like a traffic cop and then th this guy is really for security my my only knowledge of cops in other countries like like Europe or like say Britain or whatever they have a lot of whistles and stuff <laughs> yeah, that's just little, for movies though. Little, that's it. And then they have the hats yeah, yeah, yeah. that are like this tall. They have the bat, yeah. yeah. Like they work at hot dog on a stick. Yeah. yeah. No, but in Morocco though, they always like walk in threes. And oh, they God. do have like the rifles. Oh, like, it looks scary. Oh, like really, yeah. really scary. Morocco it's like they're walking scary. as like a wall. I would not fuck around in Morocco. Yeah. No, you don't want to fuck around in Morocco. Or any other country for that matter. <laughs>